how to start with self-improvement. I'm Nate. I'm the Fit Future MD. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Pick up your free copy of the Nutrition and Workout Guide in the description below if you're interested in getting healthy. I'm the owner of Intercell, Intercell's family. Together we will rise up from humble beginnings to inspire others all over the world with the messages on our t-shirts. Wear your inspiration today and stop seeing negativity all around you and see positivity all around you. That's what Intercell is about, rising up, inspiring others. High quality tees, inspirational messages. Use code FITFUTUREMD for 20% off at InserCell.com. So you want to start a self-improvement journey. So where do you start? Where do you begin? There's so many self-improvement people out there now. Like, what are we going to do, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is so I want to improve myself. Well, number one, it's going to be kind of like uh, Alcoholics Anonymous or... Uh, any other addiction, right? Um, you're going to say, well, what do I actually need to improve? Right? Because if they're, you know, if you want to improve, like you have to know what you need to improve, right? You know, because for some people it might be your hairline, right? Like, you know, and that, you know, that's a different thing, right? So, but recognize what you want to improve. So for me, when I started this, I was like, well, I need to lose weight. Right, I cannot be 315 pounds anymore, hurting, getting up off the couch. Like this is not the way I want to live. Right, my blood work was crap. Right, so high cholesterol. I wanted to not have high cholesterol anymore. I did not want to have to take pills to to get rid of the high cholesterol either. Right, so you know, so that was one of the things that I definitely wanted to get back to. I wanted to look like an athlete again. Right. So when you walk in and say, oh, he must play football, he must play baseball, he must play basketball, right? You know, don't want to be like, oh, he's just an old man, right? Um, obviously, you know, um, generationally, I come from people that did not have a good financial situation. We all, I came from a very poor background and hardworking people, but we were poor. So I wanted to find a way to improve my financial situation, right? Um, so we'll start there, right? But the biggest thing is, is that when you figure these things out, you're going to make a contract with yourself to say, I'm not this way anymore, period, right? I'm not a fat fuck piece of shit anymore, period. In a, in a contract with yourself and no matter what, you stick to that contract so when those motherfuckers at work come in with fried chicken, guess what? We're not eating the fucking fried chicken, right? That's a contract with yourself, right? And you have to look deep inside yourself and say, what am I going to give up to improve my situation, right? So for me, I love ice cream, right? To be healthy, I need to give up ice cream. 100% period. Make the contract with yourself. No more ice cream. Done. Out of my life. We're not even going to even consider having it anymore. It's poison, right? Right? Um, so I did the same thing, you know, with... So I, when I started this self-improvement journey, you know, I smoked cigarettes. Contract with myself. I'm never smoking a cigarette again. Ever, period. No cigarettes, no cigars, no tobacco. Nothing. Period. No nicotine, nothing. It's all canceled from my life. Right? Um, no more alcohol. Because if you drink alcohol, you can't control yourself and not smoke. Right? So no alcohol, period. Alcohol is also deadly for your body. Right? So if you're trying to get healthier, obviously that's not a good way to do it by drinking alcohol. Um, like I say, and then you can't control yourself and control and be on your contract, right? Right, you're not gonna eat fried food anymore. So I already went over that. And you're gonna have to eat out less, right? If you know they're poisoning your food, why would you continue to eat it? Period, right? You're gonna have to eat at the house, right? When you, <laughs> when you go to a restaurant with friends, you order a water, right? <laughs> and some vegetables <laughs> or salad, right? You know, 
and to improve your financial situation, you know, you're just not going to have to buy, you're not going to buy stupid stuff anymore, right? All these gadgets that come out every year, they're useless, just, just end up in people's garages. You see them on a yard sale, they still got the tag on them. They never even used the product, right? But they bought the crap anyway, right? You can't do that and, and have a good financial situation, right? You're going to have to give up doing that kind of stuff and make a contract with yourself and say, I'm never doing this again, period, right? So um, I've also just recently given up coffee. You know, my mother probably gave me my, my gave me coffee at three or four years old, right? So I've been drinking coffee for 33 years, you know, and coffee has gone from my life now. And guess what? Now I don't have any heartburn. Imagine that, right? Um, who would have known that coffee was the what was giving me my with heartburn? I'd even dropped it down, no creamer, no sugar. It was just straight zero calorie coffee, you know, water and coffee. Heartburn from for days, right? Well, guess what? Don't drink coffee no more. Done. It's out of my life, and now I have no heartburn. So, isn't that great? But so, number three is that we're gonna improve our mindset, our habits, and our skill set, right? So number one, you have to start with your mindset, right? So it's very extreme to say, I'm gonna make a contract with myself to never do this again, right? That's very extreme. But that's what you have to do mindset-wise, and you do that with affirmations. And affirmations say, I am this, right? That I am statements, they're not I will, I am state statements, right? So I am not an alcoholic. I am not a cigarette smoker, right? Whatever is on your affirmations. But if you want to get a copy of my affirmations, just comment the word ready in the comments and I'll be happy to send them to you, right? But so that's the first thing, mindset. You have to have the mindset to improve yourself, right? You have to realize that, hey, I have a limit to my talent and say, well, I'm going to have to do these things to improve, to get to the top of that limit, to actually improve my life, period. Let's say, because everybody has a natural genetic talent limit, right? And there's, and this is a world of competition, right? You are competing in the market. And if you are not at your best, you will not win, period. Right, and you're wondering, oh, I'm broke, oh, I'm fat, oh, I'm unhealthy. Well, that's why, right? You have to compete in this market, right? And there are people that will destroy you because they have a better mindset than you, right? Now, after you get your mindset right, or during when you get your mindset right, you're gonna set what your habits are, right? So you have to set a daily routine that's going to improve your life. And I'm not talking about going to jump in, in a cold plunge. I'm not talking about taking cold showers. I'm not talking about all that BS that they're talking about. I'm talking about work, right? You're gonna have to do daily work on yourself, right? Now, so for me, right, I wanted to get healthy. So what's the number one way that that what's the number one thing people do when they say, oh, I'm gonna get healthy. Well, they go to the gym and then all of a sudden they're starting to skip. Well, I don't miss the gym. I go to the gym every freaking day. If I'm puking, throwing up, diarrhea, got a cold, got COVID, does not matter, I'm in the gym. And I might go in there, sit on the toilet, have diarrhea and walk out. And that might be all I do that day, but I went up and got went to the gym, right? It's crazy mindset. It's a... Uh, you know, it's different, right? I'm there to improve myself, there to make sure that my daily habit is always done. And it's a contract with myself. Now, that being said, I'm aware that going to the gym with a cold is not good. Going to the gym with diarrhea is not good. Yes, I have done it. And I apologize in advance. <laughs> but, you know, it is a contract with yourself. Right. And that's what the mindset part is, because, you know, you got to be a little bit crazy to improve yourself 
to do something different than what the world is doing because the world is destroying itself, right? We're all fat, we're all obese, we're all dumb, and we're done with that, right? We are done with that. We are tired of living that way, and we're going to wake up early, go to the gym, and make sure that we're healthy right from the start, and you cannot say no. It does not matter how you feel. You got a headache, it doesn't matter, go to the gym. You're dehydrated, doesn't matter, go to the gym, right? And that's just the way it is. Um, and then the last thing is that you got to improve your skill set. So whatever your skill is, there are people that you can learn from. There are books that you can read. There are videos you can watch. I choose to read 10 minutes a day, at least every morning, 10 minutes a day. You're all on the toilet at some point, 10 minutes a day reading your skill set what you're trying to improve on. So for instance, I own a business, it's called InsurSale, right? So I'm reading business books for 10 minutes a day, every day, learning from an entrepreneur. Right now I'm reading Elon Musk's book, right? It's learning from one of the greatest entrepreneurs of all time, right? You know, um, so, and what not to do mostly, but, um, <laughs> you know, but, that's really what you want. You want to improve your skill set so that you can be better in your life. Especially if you want to improve financially, you know, you got to be smarter than everybody else. You got to be ahead of the game. If you read one book a month, which is 10 minutes a day, for most books and most people, that's 12 books a year. That's greater than 95% of the people out there. Right. So you talk about giving yourself a level up in your skill set. If you read 12 books a year, you're going to be better than 95 percent of people in your in whatever skill you're trying to do. Right. Me personally, it's entrepreneurship, financial literacy, you know, stock market stuff, uh, real estate, that kind of stuff. Because, like I said, I wanted to improve my financial situation. I didn't want my children to be growing up broke and always worried about money like I grew up, right? So, so this is how you start a self-improvement journey, right? This is how you get better in life, right? This is the step-by-step -step guide, ready to go, you know, so recognize what you need to improve, recognize what you need to give up to improve that thing, and then improve your mindset, your habits, and your skill set. I'm Nate. I'm the Fit Future MD. Shop at InsurSale.com. Uh, if you want to join the mentor program, comment the word ready. Let's get you right. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.